Hi, Felina here at Hera Hub interviewing Portia Latouche, one of our wonderful artists in the latest show that's up here at Hera Hub, the Zen Contemporary Arts. Uh, beautiful, beautiful paintings uh, that will be up here to the end of 2012. Yes. So Portia, tell us a little more about your background. I've been an artist my whole life and I am finally fulfilling a dream um, that I've had for many years which is to pursue my art as a profession and my advice to all you working women is don't wait until you retire but instead um, allow yourself give yourself permission to pursue the arts and embrace that whole cultural experience throughout your life uh, which I've which I've done and uh, now I'm actually uh, being becoming a full-time artist. Wonderful, wonderful. And talk a little bit about the work that's in this particular show and maybe even specifically the piece we're standing in front of. Yes, this piece is called Golden Koi, and it is done with a giant brush. Mm, it's about this big around in diameter with bristles about this long and a handle like this. You may think of it as a mop, um, but it's actually a, uh, a tool for making wonderful Chinese brush painting. And I have been studying with Rosemary Kimball for several years, who is a master Chinese brush painter or painter of um, in the oriental manner. And she really inspired me to see a different um, perspective on oriental art because she was inspired by a contemporary Japanese artist. And so Rosemary is my master teacher and from her I've learned the lessons and then um, incorporated that into my own work. So this is a work that I did with Rosemary uh, using the giant brush. And the spirit of the show is really to talk about creating a legacy from uh, master teachers on to students, which is very much the tradition of Chinese and Asian arts. You study with a master teacher for many years, you copy and respect that artist's work, and then it's really up to the pupil, the student, to come up with her own voice, with her own work, and then carry on that tradition. And that works very well in business as well. We learn from the, our CEOs and executives that we work with and maybe our first job we learn a lot and then we take all of this that we uh, have a, a, a acquired through our working experiences and then we turn this into our own businesses and I worked in the corporate world as a, a, an executive in the software industry for 26 years and then eventually started my own business mm -hmm. and really enjoyed um, creating something that was very much my own and now that's what I am trying to do with my art and Rosemary and I here are hoping to um, give some uh, inspiration about that idea that notion of creating a legacy for your own uh, personal life. Wonderful. Well, the work is beautiful. It's amazing. We're honored to have it here. Anything else you want to share? Last minute thoughts on what inspired you and, and any of the pieces here that you want to talk about specifically? Certainly. I um, like to paint in many different mediums, watercolor, uh, Chinese brush painting. Uh, I was a ceramic artist for many years and made beautiful pottery out of porcelain and wanted to start painting um, in the Chinese and Japanese manner on the, on the clay. So I started taking um, classes with a uh, Chinese brush painting instructor um, in San Diego and that's where the whole thing started. <laughs> and I fell in love with the medium. It's very immediate. So one of the things about watercolor and, and Chinese brush painting or brush painting in the Asian style is that when the brush hits the paper, that's it, baby, you know, you're done. Yeah, <laughs> you yep. can't go back and fuss with it. And I like that immediacy. It allows me to express my emotions mm. um, very quickly and um, it's very gratifying. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, we're really looking forward to the opening on the 20th of September and then the workshops you have at the end of September and beginning of October or beginning of December, excuse yeah. me, mm -hmm. to where our members and other women in the community can come and learn and, and be inspired as well. We'd love to have all of them come uh, and uh, experience the, the pleasure of the stroke of the brush. It's, it's very gratifying. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you for your time, Portia. Thank you so much for having us here. We're of course, honored. of course.